Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of a Sleepy Sunday Let's Play with the game I see. Frostbite Edition, you know. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we are currently on the uh, trek back to the junkyard, I think is the best way of putting it. We are very, very injured. And uh, I have had uh, the odd person say to me, why have you used all your medipacks when people haven't been that injured? And my, my thing is... I don't know what kills these guys. I don't know if it's when they get up to the full health and then it's like one more hit. Or if something happens en route, if you leave them injured for too long. I don't know. So that's why I've been trying to keep everyone in tip-top health. It's kind of backfired to the fact that then we now have absolutely no medicine and lots of people have injured. So, so uh, I think we're going to try and make it back to the junkyard. If we can loot anywhere and not take much of a penalty, I will do so. Uh, but we'll go back to the junkyard and just get as much medicine as we can trade for. I, I'm not really that fussed in hoarding stuff at the moment. We have run into the problem recently of having to leave stuff behind because our bags are full. So that's something we can work on as well. So let's let's crack on, shall we? Uh, as I say, we're going for it as easy as possible. I mean, like farm, yeah, forest, eh, maybe, maybe. I, you know what? That's not too bad. Okay, loot. Good chance of not getting into a fight. We'll do that. This forest seems relatively open and easy to explore, so hunting should be both simple and safe. I don't like when it pauses. Oh. Uh, while hunting, you spo uh, spot a small herd of deer. It's a perfect opportunity to get food that will last you for days, but you have to be careful not to scare most of the herd off. Uh, surround them quietly. Stealth failure. You aren't silent enough, and the misstep alarms the whole herd to your presence. The animals run away before you can adjust your plan. All right. Uh, so, can we take all that? We can. We can. Uh, let's move on. Uh, again, nothing really I'd like to, to risk myself with, so we'll just move on again. And uh, back to the junkyard. Oh uh, yeah, we need to get down to this question. This is what I'd ideally like to do at the end of this. By the end of this episode, uh, we'll see how far we get. I suppose. Uh, junkyard. Uh, we don't need the entrance. Trader laboratory. Uh, let's go to the trader. Yeah, the trader. We'll go to the trader. You approach the trader in the junkyard square. She smiles gently when you come closer. Greetings, travelers. How may I help you? I want a barter. I need some medicines. You have no medicines. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. I mean, you've got chemical regents. Uh, we can craft a medicine. Oh, we, can have to, we could craft two, actually, if we bought that. How much is it worth? 20 bullets. It's a lot. Soldier survivor clothes. Heavy survivor clothes. Could I not just handmade guns? Smoke grenade. See, nothing's majorly useful here. I'm going to take you and I mean one bandage I'll take. 130. A scope. Can't use a scope, can we? Hunting knife, no, no, no. I mean, the more the merry, I suppose. Uh, can we do anything with metallic parts? Nothing else of yet. Nothing interesting. We can make a spear, I suppose. Grappling hook. Yeah, nothing major. We can make Intimidate and Survivor clothes. Or Camo. So, no. We got. We do have to raise quite a bit, though. Uh, we uh, need to get rid of a few things. So, let's get rid of five of those. Get rid of two scopes. There's some of that. 
So even a smoke grenade is not worth a lot. You'd have thought it would be worth more. Uh, let's get rid of all the knives. Big device. See, it doesn't trade well here. None of that does. Even the rings. Oh, I'll tell you what, she's rubbish. You know what? Yeah. We're going to cancel. We're going we're gonna to start again because that was bloody rubbish. Let's try again. So, let's have the bandage off her. Let's have... 10. Do I want the heavy survivor clothes? I mean, what do we have on people at the moment? Is anybody in rubbish survivor clothes? April is. Carlos is. Geneve doesn't wear anything. I mean, if we could make our own heavy survivor clothes, we wouldn't have to, would we? So, uh, with that being said, let's take the chemicals and heavy survivor clothes. Can we get up to, to 130? I mean, what do you like? There must be something here which takes your fancy. There must be something here which tickles your wick. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Survivor bow. Does everyone have good bows now then? Hunting bow. Is that better than a survivor bow? It is. Alright. So we can get rid of that I suppose. Uh, we'll get rid of you. We'll keep that. Get rid of all the knives. Lighter. I can't believe the ring's only worth 20. That's ridiculous. Forty-eight. We're not even getting close here, are we? Two. Seventy-nine. My life. Hundred and four. Are we almost there? Okay. Copper wires work right down to two. Cloth. I'm going to keep. Animal tendons are a diamond dozen. They can go down. Animal fat can go down. Ooh, I have one of those back, sorry. My bad. 125. So only five short now. Rope. Tools. I suppose I only need one shovel. Wow, that was a ball, eh? Oh, you're not very fun. You're not very fun. Let's get out of here. Right, let's go to the laboratory. We approach the laboratory. A building made of all sorts of scrap metal. Uh, even so, a surprisingly sturdy door guarded by two armed people. Inside the laboratory is incredibly clean and well organised. There are various people here working on objects of every kind. Jackson nods at you. Hello again. What do you need? Oh, yeah, he doesn't trade. That's good. I'd have been annoyed if he did. Uh, there's nothing else here, really. And I think... Yeah, we're done at the junkyard. So, let's go to trading. We need to make a... Bandage. Uh, we also do you just automatically learn the stuff it looks like you do so what can we build at least i thought we did so where's heavy survivor clothes then Oh, right, okay. 
So you need two fur to make heavy survival clothes. Cool. So who's wearing what and who doesn't want to wear normal? So we'll pull that off her. She can wear that. So we need to do that once more. Twice more. So we need a bit of fur, which is fine. We can do that. Uh, right, let's get some of these people healed up. So you can be healed of it. And we're going to leave you for the time being. We need to be heading south. We need to be heading south. Uh, we'll come and check out these as well. So we'll go this way. And then to here. Factory. Decent loot. Also, there's a good chance we're going to get our asses handed to us. We'll do it. You find an old factory. Exploring this massive building is sure to net you some useful items, but roaming the darkness inside could be risky. Please don't be risky. Your search is interrupted by the shouts of the lookouts you've posted outside. A group of armed people are heading towards you, and they're clearly not coming in peace. Oh dear. Everyone's got their need to get. That's fine by me. How much health do they have? 150 to 308. Alright. Uh, let's threateningly run up with them. I hope we get some melee next time. Uh, let us shoot awfully well. And then nothing else, I guess, this time around. So they did a morale here. They're hitting us for 12. That's all they're doing. Right, so we need melee. Of course we haven't got melee. Of course we haven't got melee. Right, so. Let's incite silently. No, let's incite loudly. Awesome. Uh, can we do a sneaky Amy chop? We can. Uh, and then a sneaky maneuver. From cover? No, it's pushing it too far. That's fine. Got a bit of damage absorption. Absorb absorption. Absorption. That's right. Didn't sound right. Two nine five. Right. So. So, so, so. We've got two silver melees here. And a flurry. Can we hit them, like, really hard? 57? I'll take that. 56 left. Um, what about if we shot them, like, a lot? No? We shoot them once? I'll take that. 21 left. That'll do. Right, so, anything of interest here? Oh, more chemicals, that's good. Well, we'll definitely take it all. Cool. Uh, should we try the factory once more? That went pretty well. Come on! Hey, more chemicals! Awesome. That was rubbish. <laughs> right, let's do a little bit of crafting. And we want to make two of them. So we should have three medicine. That's fine. Right, so on to the next. What's this? A little town. Uh, the shop looks pretty cool. You can find an old shop, even if many have scavenged here before. There's probably something still left to take. Cutlery, okay, and a lighter. Nice. Um, the apartment block, I guess. You find a ruined apartment block, it could be a good place to scavenge something, but its structure is not really stable. Exploring the building lets you gather a few useful items, but it also makes you stumble upon a staircase leading down to a dark basement. We have a torch. Use the torch. Uh, we've got another cloth with some gears and a gun. And glass and soap. Eh. The house? Why not? I want to roll here. House lies in ruins in front of you. It shouldn't take long to search it for anything useful. The path ahead is blocked by a large pile of rubble. 
You don't see any way through it. Clear a path with a shovel. You shovel away enough debris to get through to the other side. Uh, fuel. Yeah. All right. Fine. Uh, and uh, the village. I mean, the loot to danger isn't really decent, is it? But I am kind of intrigued to hit it. You see a small village ahead. There are several places there to loot, but it will also take a lot of time and expose your party to various dangers. Let's do this. Oh, we pulled it off. And we got a bandage out of it too. And bullets. Nice. Well worth it. Well worth it. Right. On to the next. You reach your destination and see people waiting for you. You're finally here. Good. We are ready to begin. This is the place. We have some spare parts here. We can use them to set up defences before we start breaking down the door. Sadly, it's a metal door, so prepare to cover your ears when we start, as opening it will be really noisy. We, we can fortify the external perimeter, fortify the building, set some traps and assemble a small watchtower to help us spot the mutants. We will follow your lead. Just tell us which task you want to get on first. I wish I'd used some health before I did this. Uh, right, so... Let's place some traps. That should thin them out a little. You spend some time and materials preparing mechanical traps and laying them on the ground around the building. These are sure to take out some mutants. We still have enough parts to build some more defences to assess what you want to do. Uh, we could fortify the external walls i guess you spend some time in materials fortifying the holes in the wall surrounding the building let's hope they hold so have enough parts um let's build the watchtower then let's do it all why not you start building the watchtower it takes a lot of time but you finally manage to complete it and let's fortify the building you spend some time in materials fortifying the building the locked door standing in your way is now properly protected well done there's nothing more we can build or reinforce with our current resources what we've done will have to suffice we will now start breaking the door's lock. Protect us until the mutants retreat. They're easy to scare. The man and his two helpers start working on the lock. Their tool is really loud and it seems to take forever to pierce through the door. After a few minutes, you spot some figures in the distance. Mutants. There's a large group coming towards the building. You have no choice but to face them. Alright. 150. I mean, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Alright, uh, so... Let's see if we can do that. No. Reposition. No. We want instant damage. Instant, instant damage. That's what we want. No. Ooh, okay. They can't do a lot by themselves. Killer instinct, eh? Good game. Back to us. Right. Can we do a stealthy aimy shot? Yes. Yeah. Doesn't really matter either way, does it? That'll do. Can we do a stealthy hitty hit? No? We'll just blow them. All right, little hits again, please, guys. Little hits. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Ooh, this is better for us. Right, so. Let's do some shouty hitty hits. Or just some hitty hits. Some Amy hitty hits. No. Some stealthy hitty hits. Some covery hitty hits? No. Alright. Um, safety. Or morale. I'm going to go with, with safety. Can I do anything with these? Take aim. I have to do, I guess. And we've got plenty of buffs on that round. 
So as long as they don't hit us too hard. Zero. One. Five. Five. I can take that. Take that all day. 94 to 263. Right, so. We want some Amy shots. So. 37. Or 20 straight off. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, how much are they worth by themselves? 38. <laughs> okay, well, that's that done. And that. And some screamy sh stabbies. No? We'll take the cover. Take no prisoners. And we'll stab them a bit. 32. It's looking good. See, the morale I'm not too fussed about. Because that doesn't seem to make too much difference. It's about getting that damage out as quickly as you can. So we need to clear 32. Uh, that's not quite a lot. 26. Boom. Meat. Fur. I'll take it. Is anyone like mega damaged? I'm. I must be right at the back of this group because <laughs> I don't get. I don't take any damage ever, which is fine by me. Uh, that'll do. The mutants finally start retreating. They won't be back soon. Not after the losses they've suffered. Your allies have all the time they need to get the door open now. Finally, after what feels like forever, the lock breaks. Whoa! This cursed thing finally sur surrendered. I hope it was worth it. The man and his helpers take some time to inspect the room while you wait outside. He comes out to talk soon afterwards. An interesting place. Apparently this whole compound was some kind of secret laboratory. Doing some special research on... The man looks again at the papers held in his hands. On something quite complex, actually. I was unable to understand a lot of it, but apparently they were attempting to create new types of plant life. Their notes talk about genetic experiments concerning the merging of plants with various other life forms, though I failed to understand what they were aiming for. Anyway, you did a superb job. Here are your bullets. You deserve them. I've added a little something extra since we were able to scavenge lots of interesting things in this place. I hope we meet again. In the meantime, good luck and good safety. Or safe journeys, even. Uh, we'll be fine here. We should be able to protect ourselves now. 200 bullets. Nice. Uh, he t looks at the mutant carcasses on the ground. Judging from what I can see here, those mutants won't be eager to return anytime soon. The man and his helpers go back to the room while you gather your things to start moving again. Oh. And we have stuff we can scavenge. Right, let's do some heals first. You get a heal. You get a heal. Um, thank you very much. Uh, let's try the... Mm, let's try the vast forest on top first. These woods are crawling with potential prey, but keep your eyes open and your weapons ready, lest the hunter becomes the hunted. Come on! Hey. Take it all. Um, I mean, yeah, that's the only sort of things we're going to get is fur and whatnot. So let's push our luck. These woods are crawling with potential prey. We've done that bit. Come on. Bugger. You gather your people to decide what to do next when you notice some activity nearby. It seems like a pack of wolves is trying to surround you. They, You have to act before they attack. Let's scare them with gunfire. You shoot over a dozen times at the animals. By the time you're done, most of the wolves have already fled. Awesome. Uh, the other two I'm not too fussed by. Let's go and see what this is. Oh, a cave, a house, and a shop. Well, let's hit them all. Let's do the uh, house first. Oh, that was good. What's this? Free medicine, thank God. Right. Uh, ammo clip, bandage, scatter bullets. That's very good for us. Uh, that is very good. Let us heal you and you and you. The rest will hold off. Let's try the shop next. Come on. You notice the booby trap while exploring the building. It's easy to disarm, but there could be more around the place. Uh, let's try to disarm the traps. You managed to disarm all the devices. Oh, we found a gun because of it. And proceed to explore the area. 
Ah, oh, he said he's interrupted by the shouts of the lookouts he's posted outside. All right. Looks like we're taking on some bandits. What do they have? 200 health. Good thing we healed. All right. We're in for the long one here. So let us... I want to hit as hard as I can. Increase his damage dealt by allies for three turns. Let's do that. We'll throw in the cover. Can we do anything with that? Combat maneuvers? Increase range damage dealt by allies for three turns. I'm thinking I should probably just go in for the shots. 21. Let's do that. And throw up both of those. 27. I'm going to take the damage over that, I think. Don't think it's worth the others. Got a little bit of cover. So that's only four damage. I mean, it's potential that we can pick up some more medicine here. This is this is why we're risking it for a biscuit. Stand and fight. Uh, we should probably work on our ammo, uh, our ammo, um, our, our morale a little. All right, so. Let's go in hard. Let's go with Snipe. What have they got? 15 absorbed. Guess we do that then. 14. Uh, could we do a stealthy slurry? No, we'll just, we'll just shoot after that. Shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. Wow, they got gold die. Oh, we might be buggered here. Not liking that gold maneuver. I'm hoping he can't use it. I'll take that. What's up? Up on. Damage next round. So we need to do 73 damage. Don't think we're going to do 73 damage. Uh, we could. We could, we could, we could do a bronze snipe. So that's adding on what? Six. 14. Seven, so it's actually adding on seven to that one. Hunting party. I'll take it. Uh, then we can hit for 21. I don't think there's anything I can do here to make this any better for us. Oh, look at that! Six! I can't hurt him, can I? Oh, well. Wow, look at all those golds! Please don't kill me this time around. I mean, their morale's gone. Our morale is very close. We've been worse off. That's fine. Uh, we need to do... A bit... Oh, come on! Uh, leadership! Not that leadership gets you anything. Take aim and shout a bit more. That was crap. As long as they only have the uh, the one damage absorb each time, we should be all right. Ow. Now I'm getting a little worried. We're getting a little bit too low for my liking. Six and the ten, so that's 18 damage we need to do. Do we just go for the angry sh uh, stabby? Stabby. 
boom. Ah! Oh, got a gold watch. Nice. Uh, yes, what's this? Necklace. Ooh. Hunting rifle, bandage. That's alright. Not bad. Not bad. Don't ever want to do that again. Right, so you get a heal. You get a heal. You get a heal. You get a heal. Things are not looking good. I mean, how is our inventory? 116. Okay, well. I need to head for the keeper at some point. What are my skills looking like? I've got 11. Oh, okay. So, let's... Um, skills and knowledge related to searching for useful items in abandoned places of any kind. Each level of this skill reduces the chance of becoming involved in dangerous events while scavenging. And improves the loot earned after a successful search. I think that is useful. I think that's the most useful right now. So if I use that. Um, I mean, we could put our exploration at one. We get another maneuver. But more importantly, we've got more chance of finding other things in the forests which i think is most useful it's either that or hunting actually that's even better yeah we'll go for that that'll do and i think that is where we shall leave look at that loot now uh, that is where we shall leave this episode there's a lot going on again i'm going to end this episode as i ended the last one the next one may be the last. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but all in all, you know, we've killed a few mutants. We've found a gold watch and a necklace. It's all right. You know, I've had worse days. That's for sure. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you later. Take it easy.